So you want to know about this strange looking flying contraption, the auto gyro, also called the gyrocopter or gyroplane. In this video, I'm going to bring you some quick information about them. So what is it? Is it a helicopter? Well, no, actually it's its own thing. They are less complicated than helicopters and they're cheaper to buy and maintain, but that doesn't mean that they're cheap. A helicopter uses a motor to spin the blades at the top and then the air is pulled down through those blades, moving the helicopter in the other direction. An auto gyro's blades are free spinning, turning by auto rotation, and the air is moving up through the blades. So the blades of an auto gyro are acting more like a wing than a helicopter. If you want to know exactly how they work, check out this awesome explanation video I found from the 1930s. It's still very relevant today. And at the end, you'll see what an auto gyro is capable of. They perform some stunts that probably wouldn't be allowed today. So does this mean that auto gyros can take off vertically like a helicopter? Well, not really. It must be moving through the air to generate lift. But with a strong enough headwind, it could use that to jump into the air. Although not vertical, they do have really short takeoff distances. And they can also land with pinpoint accuracy in really short distances as well, as demonstrated by that video from the 1930s. You'll notice some have a prop on the front and some have a prop on the back. Some are pulled through the air and some are pushed. The pusher configuration is the most common because this gives great visibility and simplicity of construction. The pull of configuration has the advantage of your stability though, which helps to prevent bunting. Right, let's take a look at some fun stuff done with auto gyros. Wing commander Ken Wallace from the UK held the most auto gyro world records during his flying career with a time to climb speed record of 129.1 miles per hour at the age of 89. And by doing this, he also set another record, a record for the oldest pilot to set a world record. Well done. Andrew Keach from the USA set three world records for speed and distance over a closed circuit of 104.57 miles per hour, distance of 633.32 miles. The auto gyro altitude record is held by an Italian, Donatella Risi, reaching an altitude of 27,556 feet. If you want to see a German couple take the first world tour by auto gyro, check out the weltflug.tv website. I'll put a link in the description below this video. Okay, now I'll show you some interesting auto gyros. Starting with the Nissus, they don't come much more head turning and futuristic looking than this. This is going to set you back 115,000 euros. Here's another real head turner from Fusencopter, the FC4. Currently, I believe still under development, it has four seats and two engines. You're not going to find many gyroplanes with two engines. Next, we have the Tensor 600X. It's marketed as a stole gyroplane, which means short takeoff and landing. It uses a Rotax 915 IS engine and it can take off from 90 meters or 300 feet of runway at its maximum takeoff weight. And it can land in just 20 meters, which is 70 feet. Next up, we have a couple from ELA Aviation, starting with the 10 Eclipse. This has got great visibility and a removable canopy and will set you back around 109,000 euros. And we have the 07 Scorpion. This is going to cost 78,000 US dollars at the base price. Next up, we have Sportcopter 2 from Sportcopter. This has large digital instrument panels in the cockpit, and it's going to cost you about 85,000 US dollars for the kit. This is the j -Row by Gyro Revolution, another one with incredible visibility and gullwing doors. This is going to cost you about 75,000 US dollars. The MTO Nautic from Autogyro clearly stands out amongst this group because it's fairly unique in the fact that it has floats so it can land on water. Autogyro being one of the biggest names in the industry and they have a few on offer. Let's take a look at the Cavalon. This is one of their more popular auto gyros and will cost around 136,000 US dollars. This is the Lightning from Nikki Aviation. It's got a unique tail design, a really aesthetically nice looking gyrocopter. And finally, from an Italian company, the Magna Gyro M24. This will set you back around 80 to 90,000 US dollars. Links in the description below. 
So they do have a reputation of being unsafe. Is this true? Well, like anything, it's more down to the pilot's experience and training. But let's take a look at some of the quirks of auto gyros. Firstly, unlike a helicopter, as the blades are always in auto rotate, if the power cuts, it immediately becomes like a maple tree seed, falling as the blades reduce the rate of descent. And remember, it can land without the need of a runway or a large field, which is a big advantage over fixed wing aircraft. Also, auto gyros cannot spin or stall, which is a problem and major killer for fixed wing aircraft pilots. However, here comes the but. They have their own dangerous scenarios. Unloading the rotor system can be fatal where both control, thrust and drag of the rotor disc fall off rapidly. A momentary gust of wind can then pitch the auto gyro forward, sending it into a tumble. This is known as bunting over. And when in a tumble, there is very little chance of recovery. Another problem of unloading the rotor is that the speed can decay rapidly leading to rotor instability or flap. And this can lead to loss of rotor control and invariably results in a blade strike where one or both of the blades impacts the prop or the tail components, causing damage and further slowing those blades. Also, if you crash, then you've got those blades above you to think about. Closed canopy auto gyros though do seem to be a popular choice in recent years and they also have improved comfort. So auto gyros have some safety advantages compared to fixed wing aircraft and helicopters, but they also have some disadvantages as well. Like anything, experience and training is going to help to mitigate those risks. An Australian Transport Safety Bureau report on accidents between 2004 and 2013 found that half of all gyrocopter accidents to be fatal, with the aircraft type responsible for the worst fatality rate per hours flown. But this could also be a little bit skewed because non-fatal accidents with auto gyros are underreported. Okay, so what are they actually called? Are they called auto gyros or gyrocopters or gyroplanes? Well, a gyroplane is what the Federal Aviation Administration calls a rotorcraft with an unpowered motor. A gyrocopter is what Igor Benson called his version of a gyroplane. Many people have come to call anything that flies with an unpowered rotor a gyrocopter. And an autogyro is a trademarked word used by Duan to describe his aircraft with an unpowered rotor that preceded the helicopter and first flew in 1923. So I hope you've discovered something about autogyros. Let me know in the comments if there's any you want me to explore further. If you're interested in other light aviation videos, I've got a channel, Pilot Mike. You can check out my other videos there. Thanks for watching and fly safe.